We're now going to take a look at how the multiplier works. Um, so we're going to look at the circular flow and see how the multiplier effect works here. Let's say we have an increase in autonomous investment of, say, 100 million rand. How does this affect our little economy? This is going to increase firms' output by 100 million. So firms will employ people, etc. And 100 million rand's worth of output, which will then translate into income, which is earned by your labor, your entrepreneur earns profit, etc. So 100 million rand's worth of output is created, which translates into 100 million rand's worth of income that flows back to households. Households use that income for expenditure purposes then. So what do they spend? Well, it's determined by the marginal propensity to consume, the fraction of that income that will be spent on consumption expenditure. And let's take a different value now. Let's take 0 0.9. So it means that 0.9 of that 100 million, or 90% of it, is going to be spent on consumption, which once again will flow back to firms. So consumption will be equal to 90 million. So what happens to the other point one of that? It's going to be kept aside as saving. So savings represents a leakage from your circular flow. And here it's going to be 10 million rand is kept back. 90 billion spent on consumption expenditure. That will cause firms to increase output again by 90 million, which generates a further 90 billion rands worth of income or output. We're going to have that. And that then flows back to households. They're going to keep point one of that aside, which is going to be. 9 million rand, okay, and the rest, the remainder, 81 million, flows back, 81 million is going to flow back to firms um, as consumption expenditure. So of that 90 million rand, 0.1 of it, 10%, um, 9 million is kept back, it's a leakage, a savings, 81 million flows back to firms that increase output by 81 million. So once again, you've got another flow of 81 million it's worth of output or income. So you're going to have 81 million rands worth of output or income that's now going to flow back to households. So once again, 0.9 of that will be spent on consumption and point one of that will be saved. So point one of that is going to translate into 81, 8.1 million, 8.1 million. Okay, and the rest, which is going to be 72.9 million, is going to flow back to firms in the form of consumption expenditure. And so this will continue. It won't continue forever because savings is obviously um, reducing the amount of consumption in each round. But what we do see that is in a very simple Keynesian model where there's no government and there's no foreign sector, savings equals investment. That relationship is made more complex by the presence of government.